so you're a photographer or maybe a, a filmmaker or maybe just a freelancer in the creative space, do you actually know what matters most to your clients? I genuinely believe that only one thing matters to any client. Let's get into it. What's up? My name is Chris Tejas. I'm a photographer and videographer based in Ontario, Canada. Now, I work with a lot of different types of clients. Couples getting married, professionals looking for headshots, brands looking for product photography, events looking for coverage, real estate agents, social media influencers, sports teams, small business owners. The, the list goes on and on. Well, okay, maybe it doesn't go on and on. That's actually pretty all-encompassing, but still, you get it. And no matter the client, no matter the budget or the time frame or the scope of work, the deliverables, it all boils down to the same thing. They all care about the exact same thing. Maybe you have some guesses as to what I'm gonna say. So, so pause the video for a sec, leave a comment down below. I'd be curious if anyone is on the same kind of wavelength as me. Nope, none of you. Oh, maybe some of you. You probably didn't even stop the video. Fundamentally, every client wants to be able to justify their decision to work with you. Quality of work, speed of work, cost of work, pre-production communication, the experience of shooting with you on the day of, post-production communication, it all comes down to that. Every single time that a client is working with you or interacting with you, they are deciding whether they can justify their decision to work with you or not justify it. And almost every situation that a client has comes up from them ultimately questioning whether or not they made the right choice to work with you. Generally speaking, I think everyone just wants to feel really good about their purchase and about their decision to work with you. And every single time they interact with you, again, we're just like, we're either setting them up to feel really great about that decision or we're making it really hard for them to justify working with us and they're gonna get frustrated. So how do we make sure that they're validating their decision to work with you? Well, in every scenario, I think there's three basic steps that if you can remember, it's gonna make it way easier for your clients to feel really good about working with you every single time. The three steps are this, really simple. Number one, set very clear expectations with your client. Number two, meet or exceed those expectations with your client on the day of the shoot or throughout the process. And number three, check in with your client throughout the process to make sure that their idea of what those deliverables or what those expectations are is the same as yours. Have you ever been in a situation like that where you think you are saying the same thing as somebody and it turns out they're saying something totally different? It's frustrating and with clients it's really detrimental to your business because they might assume that you are going to give them one thing and you're assuming something completely different. If you just get on the same page and make sure you're staying on that same page throughout the entire time that you're working with them, life is going to be easier. So for me this doesn't just come from my time working as a photographer, you know, this is a pretty new career for me. I only jumped into this about a year and a half or two years ago, but I did do sales for a really long time and when you're doing sales, this is such an important thing. You really want to justify your client's decision to work with you because if you can't, they're going to work with somebody else. And if you have an ongoing relationship, then that can be really detrimental. If it's a one-off situation where you'll never see this client again, preserving that relationship maybe isn't as important to you. But I would hazard to say that anyone in the creative space does not have the flexibility in the room to just burn bridges every single time they work with a client. So then how do you integrate this into your business? Let's say you run a photography or videography or freelance creative business. How are you gonna integrate this into it effectively so that you can make sure that clients are always feeling good and they can justify their decision to work with you every single time? Well, it's really simple. Every time you're interacting with these people, think about the same thing. Number one, Am I setting clear expectations for my client? Am I being very, very clear about what I can offer, what I can't offer, what they should expect, what they shouldn't expect from me? Number two, when I am going through that process or on the day of the shoot or whatever, am I meeting those expectations or exceeding them? And number three, am I checking in with them throughout the process? So let's use a really quick example. Let's say we're doing a portrait shoot for somebody. They want new headshots you say to them, okay, great, new headshots, that's awesome. Uh, we can book out 30 minutes in that 30 minute period. We'll do a couple different poses. I'll be able to offer you both color and black and white. I can offer you five or six images of yourself looking wonderful and you know having like a really nice professional look. We can do something that is maybe more relaxed as well and casual. It's gonna cost $500. 
Okay. You've told them the time frame, you've told them the deliverables, you've told them the cost. They come back to you and they say, okay, great. That's exactly what I need. That works with my budget. Perfect. Let's do it. So the next step is on the day of when you meet them. Well, maybe you want to check in with them the day before and you want to just make sure that they understand the process. Hey, we're going to meet at this space. Uh, we're going to have 30 minutes just like we discussed and we're going to, you know, end up with these five or six great portraits for you. I'm really excited. Here's what I would recommend wearing. Do your hair or makeup however you'd like to do it. Uh, I will be there 15 minutes beforehand. So if you show up a little early, that's totally fine. If you're running late, please just let me know. Here's my information if you need to get a hold of me. The day of the shoot, what I usually do is I will send a quick message saying, hey, I'm here, I'm ready to go. Just let me know when you're here. Once they get in, that's where you do what you do best. You take photos, you interact with them, you create really lovely photos for them, right? That's the easiest part of this. However, throughout that process, it's really important to check in and make sure that they're understanding what's happening, you know? I'm taking these photos, these are looking great. I think, you know, we should try this pose or we should do that. Let's try it with the jacket off, let's put the jacket back on. You're constantly communicating with them. So you are showing them that you're paying attention, that you care, that you have attention to detail, that you really want them to look their best. And throughout that process, you're probably validating their decision to work with you. Finally, you get the images to them and that's like that final step, right? Where you have this opportunity for them to like, totally invalidate their decision where they can be like, I cannot justify working with this person. Man, they charged me 500 bucks and these photos look like trash or this isn't what I wanted. Or they might say, these are beautiful. This is way more than I expected. You've met and exceeded expectations. And in that final step, you now have the opportunity to like kind of gain a client for a lot longer because you can then say to them like, hey, I'm really, really glad that you like the photos. That makes me really happy. You know, here's something I always say too. Let's say I'm being sort of judicious myself about like, oh, this one's gonna be in color, this one's gonna be in black and white, that sort of thing. Sometimes you don't always offer both in color and black and white. So sometimes what I'll do is if I believe that all the pictures have the flexibility to be in both color and black and white, I will say to them, hey, if there's a particular photo that you saw in there that you think like you would love to see in color or you'd really love to see in black and white, let me know, I'd be, happy to, uh, I'd be happy to work on that for you, no extra charge. It's giving them a little bit extra and I, I try not to do that for like any photo they want, but overall I think just like having a little decision in there for them to make of like, hey, I have agency over what I'm seeing here and this isn't like I gave these to you, we can never talk about it again. You don't wanna leave the door open to be completely taken advantage of by them, but you do wanna show them that you wanna make sure they're getting the experience they wanted. So to me, that is the number one thing that we're trying to do with our clients. The thing that they care about most is justifying their decision to work with you. And whatever we can do to hit those three steps along the way, each and every time we work with them, it's gonna create better clients for us and a better experience for them. And we're gonna do better in our business. So hope that helps. Thanks so much, appreciate you watching. Uh, we are just humming along on this channel, having fun. And I, I really enjoy making these videos. Uh, it's been hard the past few weeks because we are getting into like busy wedding season and stuff and I'm starting to second shoot more for some people, get some weddings of my own. So it's been a little busy, but thank you for, for following along and being a part of this. I really appreciate it. Peace.